I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV and this CAD Works Live tutorial we're going to teach you how to create an athletic tail uh, with customized script for cutting on your vinyl cutter. I'm within the CAD Works Design Studio and within Design Studio on the left hand side there is a quick and easy way to get to the athletic tails within the system. Um, so I can click on athletic tails in the left navigation. It will populate the different athletic tails that are currently available within CADWorks uh, to you. And I just select the style that I like here to start with. Um, so let's pick one. Let's go with this one. Click on open after it's selected or just double click the tail. Um, and you'll notice here that the tail is independent of the text. Um, we do that so that the text maintains the the font format so I can double click this and actually change what it says because odds are not every team is the athletics so it's really easy you just double click on the text let's change this over to pirates at that point I can change the font to another script font if I like that's typically what's used with an athletic tail uh, the script jet font by stalls is one of the most popular so we're going to stick with that um, I can change the fill color or use any of my effects tools uh, that I normally use, but uh, usually I like to click um, OK and just start with the basics here with a single color. Um, at that point I can kind of drag my tail and try to fit it up at, uh, to the edge here. Um, let me click off everything and click on zoom to fit up in the top menu so we can get a closer look here. Um, so I'm just going to try to drag this tail to kind of fit it up properly. Um, of course I can size it down if I want it to be a little bit smaller underneath that um, text. Once I have everything into position I'm ready to weld it together. And the reason you need to weld it, um, let's take a look through the uh, cutter's lens at what it sees with this artwork. I'll click the wireframe view in the bottom right of the screen and you can see there's a lot of different intersecting uh, lines here. Um, that are going to cut through the the heat transfer film, the sign vinyl, whatever you're cutting this out of, and create um, a finished result that isn't great. Um, so you need to weld this together. It's really simple. You just select the text, hold the control button on your keyboard and select the tail, or just draw a box around both design elements together to select everything. And then I'm going to go up to my shaping menu up in the top and go to weld. It's going to clean it up nice uh, for me to where there's no intersecting lines and now I go back out of the wireframe view and that's a customized athletic tail that's ready to cut. Now before I conclude this tutorial I want to uh, delete this off and show you one more style of athletic tail that's a little bit different. So I'll go back into my athletic tails menu and I'll pick a, a tail with some text in the actual tail portion and let's open that up once again, if I go to the wireframe view, you'll see this is real messy with intersecting lines. Uh, but first things first, let's change the varsity name to the team name that I like. This is using the bloop script, which is just another script within CADWorks. Um, so let's change this to Brewers. Click OK. From there I can drag it and kind of align it to the tail in this corner. I want to change softball, the word softball to something else. I just double click on the softball. Maybe this is for, um, let's just say, the Fair Chance Brewers for a little league. If I don't like that varsity font, I just click on the font and I can change that um, to whatever I like. Click OK. Cancel out the font menu. It'll drop it within my tail. At that point, I can drag and move it. Um, to wherever I like and then if I want to uh, weld this together let's look at what the cutter sees I'm going to select the tail hold the control button and select my script text and I'm gonna weld those two elements together void of the text through the tail so I'll go up to my shaping menu weld those together everything looks great here but I want to show you something that sometimes trips people up when you go out of the wireframe view you're like, where did that text go? Um, and the text is still there. The only difference is it is now, because we uh, completed an action to the script and the tail, it brought that to the foreground and took the text to the background. Uh, if we go to the wireframe view, we know it's still there. So let's just grab this script with tail, go up to a line, and let's move it to the back of the screen. So that brings that fair chance up front. 
That gives me a good visual representation of what's going to be cut. Now if I wanted to create a, um, an outline, maybe a two color on this, um, I always recommend create your text, your tail, weld everything together, and then double click the whole design together. And that's where you can start to add your effects after it's already welded. So if I want to add something like a contour around the outside, I can open that effect up. It will populate onto the design. You can change the color of it, maybe blue, the brewers are black and gold here. Click OK. Click OK once I like the look. And I have the finished result. Now of course you can uh, layer uh, black on gold and heat transfer film, even layer white on top, um, or you can cut this along with the uh, black layer as a show through um, for the gold to show through. And if you want a, a visual representation of that, you just have to combine this text with the black um, and that's going to allow that um, to kind of punch through it, uh, which is a whole nother tutorial. But this is a quick lesson on creating um, athletic tails. This has been a CADWorks Live tutorial by Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.